but we're... I think this is part 47. Oh, I'm not quite sure. Mit God. Okay, so there's a few areas we can go. Um, if we continue through this fog door here, we will find something had died on us. Wow, I'm so uncomfortable. Give me a second. There we go. Oh, we got, uh... Oh, you're falling. Sort of. Now I've fallen down there before. Nothing happens, but I did get stuck on a few bricks. I got stuck in between them things. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to go through there unless I've got a light source. So the best thing for me to do right at this moment is spark this wisp. Let it blow up. Kill, damage. Some skeletons. Try to get a few hits out. Okay, now... There's a... God damn, sit still! Shit! <clears throat> Get away from that. Now, you might be thinking, Wow, a dead end. Because it is a fucking dead end. Um... But, there is... A silhouette. Off in the distance. And that is the curtains. And I just knock something down. Oh, this is not going well, this part. Prowling demon. Now, behind the prowling demon, I believe, are three eyes of death. But I'm going to take a nap. So enjoy for the next five minutes. I'm getting. Um, if you nestle in this coffin, then you are on the right track to getting a weapon that's actually quite strong. Doesn't really do much, but... And I wish this fucker would hurry up. I think it's like a 20 or 30 second wait. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to give you 10 more seconds. Come on, what the hell? Do I have half do I have to have killed this? Cause I'll be honest, it's not really what I wanna do. This thing's fucking strong. Target him Can you hear this? I I cannot target him. Yeah, now I've weird shit. The reason why I hate this fucking guy is because he's got enormous reach. Like that. That's just BS. I'm hit. Oh, he hit me with his tail and his fucking pole. Alright, it's fire orb time. Ha! Ah. Oh, you get closer every time! No more attacks? I gotcha. Demon Titanite, please. Thank you. Although I wasted about a minute and a half in that stupid coffin. There, three eyes of death. What do you fucking do? Now I don't know how many I've got. Where's this coffin? Perhaps resting in it now will do the trick. 
Um, I thought it was like 10 seconds or 20 seconds, but I've got no idea. So I guess I just gotta wait. People keep talking to me. Oh, come on! What do I have to do to get noticed? Oh, here we go. If you look very carefully, you see like a skull. Just before... It's either this one or when you go back in it. See? That's neato. And we get placed in the Tomb of the Giants. Alright, so this... This right here is the boss area of Grave Lord Nito. Um... You fall down from way up there. And Nito comes out of his coffin over in the corner. Over here. But we are going over here for one specific reason. And that's to enter his covenant. There we go. We got a trophy for the covenant and the Grave Lord Sword. If you offer ten eyes of death, which are now, thank God, easy to get, you will get a different miracle. You'll get the great Grave Lord Sword dance. But for now, the Grave Lord Sword, as you can see, is actually quite powerful. It's got extremely good durability, and the poison on it is really, really good. Alas, for this specific area, it has no use, because again, we need to get back in the coffin. Because we need a divine weapon. And once again, um, you'll see the skull as it closes the coffin. There it is. Just a little bit of a skull. I can skip this, can't I? Yep, I can. Boom. And we're back in the catacombs. Alright, so there's a few different areas we can go. <coughs> All of them pretty much... Now, I don't know a safer way to get down, just because I haven't experienced it yet. If you do, please comment on this video and tell me, but there's a few ways of getting down. Um, jumping off here is one of them, and you land on that uh, little islandy bit. Where is it? Right there. And there's also a summon sign there. There's a different way I want to go, for two reasons. Um, I actually want to go rest at the bonfire, and then go down the bottom. Because the way I want to go is in the opposite direction. It's towards the left, through this door right there that I just passed. And a skeleton dropped behind me. I think I didn't see you. Fuck, he's quick. Oh, Jesus! Right. Repair equipment. <clears throat> right, now I'm gonna show you. Okay, so the way where we beat the prowling demon... Um... I still got hurt! Is... One of the ways you can go. But the other way you can go, which I somewhat prefer, is I'll show you. Of course, I'm going to show you. You got to watch out because they can actually uh, parry and repost your attacks. Repost? Let's see if you fall. There uh, goes one. And there goes the other. Alright, you gotta be very, very careful. You have to land on that thing right here. 
Then you have to land on this thing right here. Then you can slide down to here. And then you fall down here. You don't get hurt because this is a cutscene. Enjoy. Now at first I thought I'd enter the boss room and I shit my pants. But that's not the case. It's a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Hmm? Okay, so this is Blacksmith Vamos, and you used to not be able to purchase anything from this guy. Like seriously. But now you can buy the standard stuff, um, you can repair your equipment as well as reinforce and upgrade. Um, fire short bow, yeah why the fuck not, makes it stronger. Uh, anyway, so this guy specialises in chaos embers and fire embers. So, if you have a chaos ember, or a fire ember, flaming ember, I'm not quite sure. Then, holy. These things can shred your health. Don't you dare hit that blacksmith. They drop a bone wheel shield, actually. I probably should just mention. Right, the way to go... That is a black knight. It's this way. Uh, two more bone wheel shield dudes. Let's just dodge them. Three, my bad. Oh, you went a distance. <sighs> okay. Now, there's a dude you can summon. Did I get the other one too? I did. Two for one. Sweet. There's a dude you can summon. That summon sign that I showed you just before when I was up at the Prowling Demon area, that is Paladin Leroy. Um, so yeah, that's a boss. Yeah. You summon him for this boss, but this boss isn't too difficult in my opinion. They may have changed it, I'm not quite sure. And I'll probably run over 15 minutes schedule, but who cares? It's not going to be too difficult. I don't think. This guy's practically made of kerosene. Boss, you are. See? Look at that. That's just piss poor amount of health. And to be perfectly honest, in hindsight, honestly, perfectly honest, honestly, you'll get a mask of the mother, father, or child. It's up, you know, you get one of those. And we have the father mask. I would have loved the mother mask more. I don't care about that. Okay, um... I 
what was I saying? I'm saying something, but I can't remember. Anyway, like I said, that boss is pretty much made of fucking kerosene. It's just ridiculously weak. Um, I have run a little bit over time here. But I'm pretty sure there was something down here. Gotta be very careful, I don't want to fall. Here we are. Don't fall down there, that'll just lead back to where the boss fog was. Um, and there's no point walking all the way around again. Now this is one of the areas I hate. Mm, the catacombs isn't hard, but this next part really sucks really, really badly. Um, so I'm going to end the part here and hopefully I can not fuck up the next part.